can confirm that my cats definitely do not like the snow Aww. and they're going to be particularly cross tomorrow uh, I think because not only there's the snow there might be some there'll be some rain as well and it could be uh, quite heavy so but there will be plenty of rain to come through the afternoon and a thaw of that snow as well Cathy lovely blimey that's a lot of weather isn't it <laughs> <Indeed>. oh. <laughs> yeah, this weekend we see the transition between the cold air and much milder conditions and in that process there will be some snow for some of us join me later in the program to find out more any uh, unusual nocturnal creatures at all? In Only the snow? my cats, who absolutely do not no. like the snow. So you've been trying to get them out of the cat <laughs> flap this weekend. Well, I, <laughs> I kept them in this morning because they would have gone on absolutely uh, all fours, I think. Uh, it was <laughs> so slippery out there this morning, but it has been a nice day, and we're going to see a transition to something milder. I was going to say, is that it now? Yeah, a lot of weather before we get to the uh, the, the mild air, okay. though. So, yeah, I'll tell you about Storm Bert in a minute, but uh, let's just enjoy some of these snow pictures because I think this will be the last time that we, we show them. Next week, there won't be any snow at all. Uh, on the ground uh, and uh, temperatures today have been a little bit higher we got up to uh, we can show the second picture we got up to uh, just over uh, five degrees uh, by uh, this time tomorrow we could be at around 11 degrees so you can keep your pictures coming in uh, to the weather watchers page we're on social media as well on Instagram, Keely.Donovan. So we're going to see a transition from the cold air to the mild air. And as that transition takes place, we are going to have some snow in places. We are looking at the risk of significant accumulations over higher ground. There could even be a covering of snow at some lower levels. Very windy as well, widespread gales, the risk of severe gales along the coastline. This is all happening on Saturday uh, morning. Uh, but with those strong winds blowing the snow around, there could be some blizzard-like conditions, particularly up over the tops, and really poor visibility out there as well. It's all down to this storm, Bert, the second named storm of the season, introducing milder Atlantic air. Uh, by Sunday, temperatures could be at around around 15 degrees, but still very windy Sunday into Monday. We've had a few wintry showers about today uh, down the coast and across uh, the Pennines and the Peak District. And there are uh, a few snow showers, a few wintry showers out there at the moment. There's also a frost. We've seen temperatures drop like a stone. It's going to be the coldest of the night out there at the moment. So a cold and frosty evening, a widespread frost. But those temperatures will creep up ever so slightly overnight as we see that cloud uh, moving in, uh, the rain moving in, uh, turning readily to snow in places into tomorrow morning overnight lows. As I say, the lowest through this evening by dawn will be at around one or two degrees. Let's have a quick look at those high water times then. Just gone at 10 o'clock in Scarborough and Filey. So poor visibility, very windy, a spell of snow for some turning back to rain uh, for the afternoon. Those gales slowly easing down. And there will still be heavy rain returning at times uh, through the course of the afternoon. Take a look at these temperatures later on on Saturday, 11 or 12 degrees. If you think that's mild, 15 degrees uh, to come through the afternoon on Sunday. Windy into Monday, Tom. I can't believe that. Guess who has got the Saturday reporting shift Ooh, tomorrow? Who could it be? Right, I feel a headache coming on. Will you sign my sick note, please? <laughs> Absolutely. My mother says I must be obscured uh, because of the weather.